Hey, it's me, Roby. Welcome back. We everyone know that 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 according to the typical mathematics. But would you believe me if I prove that 3 plus 3 is not equal to 6? I am going to prove 3 plus 3 is equal to 7 by breaking the rules of mathematics. It seems like a crazy thinking, right? <laughs> well, let's see how do I prove it? 3 plus 3 is equal to 7. According to the typical mathematics, a 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Let's do a simple modification in this right hand side. Let's rewrite this 6 again here and I'm gonna to introduce minus 13 over 2 plus 13 over 2. That means this plus 13 over 2 and minus 13 over 2 they cancel each other and remaining is 6 which is the previous statement that means this 6 and that 6 they remain the same there is no mathematical contradiction until this point and next statement I can write the same thing here I am introducing again another mathematical engineering exactly on this part and that is I am introducing a square root exactly on that part to make it equal, I have to introduce a square as well on this part. Next statement, I can apply a simple formula which is x minus y whole square or a minus b whole square. a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. I can substitute this a by 6 and b by 13 over 2. That means this statement is substituted by a minus b whole square. So I can write this 6 square minus 2 times 6 times 13 over 2 plus b square means this 13 over 2 whole square. And this part is covered by this square root plus this 13 over 2 exactly here. Now do a simp simplification on this part. This 6 square means 36 minus these two and that two they cancel each other and 6 times 13 is equal to 78 plus 13 over 2 whole square which is covered by this square root plus that 13 over 2 remain exactly same. 36 minus 78 which is equals to minus 42 plus 13 over 2 and this part is covered by this square root plus this 13 over 2 remain the same. Now I can rewrite this 42 49 minus 91 that means 49 minus 91 is equal to minus 42 plus 13 over 2 whole square and this square root remaining the same plus 13 over 2 49 can be written as um, 7 square minus 91 again can be written as like this way 7 times um, 13 plus 13 over 2 this whole square and this square root also be here plus 13 over 2 this part remain the same look at here something is missing on this part a square minus 2ab plus b square so something is missing exactly this part if i do a 2 here and if I introduce again 2 here as a multiplication, so that 2 and this 2, they cancel each other and remain the same, right? <laughs> this is just clever mathematical engineering, nothing else. That means a square minus 2ab plus b square. Again, this part can be uh, written as a minus b whole square, this formula. So I can write this part 7 minus 13 over 2 whole square and this square root remaining on top plus this 13 over 2 also here now what I say at the beginning x means square root and this square they cancel each other so remaining x means square root over x square so this square and this square root they cancel they can be cancelled that means 
this part this square and this square root they can cancel each other and remaining is 7 minus 13 over 2 plus this 13 over 2 now this is the interesting part look at here this 13 over 2 minus and this plus 13 over 2 they cancel each other that means they eliminate from this um, statement and remaining is 7 right so i prove i start that 3 plus 3 is 6 and finally i prove that 3 plus 3 is equal to 7 how does it possible that's the question I got 3 plus 3 is equal to 7 through this strange mathematical calculation. Of course, I should make you clear here. I did not follow the ground rules of mathematics in this entire calculation. For that reason, I got this strange and funny result. Do not take this calculation seriously. I made an intentional and clever mistake in this calculation. So your task is if you know where exactly is the mistake in this calculation, or write it in the comment section. You are open to write and I am open to discuss it in the comment section. I have another way to prove 3 plus 3 is equal to 7. To do that, let's consider 0 is equal to 0. On left hand side, this 0 can be rewrite as this way. 15 minus 15 is equal to right hand side, 0 also can be written as um, 20 minus 20. Because this 15 minus 15 is equal to 0 which is supported by this 0 on left hand side and this 20 minus 20 also equal to 0 so they can go back and forth there is no mathematical contradiction write this 15 again here and this 15 can be rewrite as minus 9 minus 6 that means minus 9 minus 6 is equal to minus 15 I just redistribute this 15 as like as minus 9 minus 6 this 20 remains same and that 20 can be rewrite as minus 12 minus 8. Next statement is I can take 3 common from left hand side. That means 3 if I take common and this 15 become 5 minus this 9 become 3 and this 6 become 2. Take 4 common from right hand side. This 20 become 5. This 12 become 3 and 8 become 2. This part on left hand side and that part on right hand side, they are same. That means I can cancel this part from right hand, left hand side and that part from right hand side at the same time because they are same. And remaining is 3 on left hand side and 4 on right hand side. Then I am adding another 3 on left hand side, do it same, adding the another 3 also right hand side. So I can say 3 plus 3 is equal to 7, right? So this is a strange mathematical calculation. Thank you so much for watching and I would like to request you to subscribe this channel. It will help me to make better further content. Thank you so much again and see you next time. Bye bye.